In this video, we'll talk about hazard perception. That's coming right up. Hey, it's Shine from Zula Driving School, and let's get right into talking about hazard perception. All right, hazard perception. So when we're driving, we wanna be mindful of potential hazards that are coming our way or that we're approaching. So let's talk about uh, some of them. This is not an exhaustive list, but it's a, a good coverage of many of them. So uh, some of the hazards include driveways. So if when you're driving down the road, you know, driveways pose a hazard to you because there can be someone pulling out of the driveway. All right. Driveways. Parked cars on the side of the road can be a hazard because they can pull away into the moving lane from the park lane without signaling. They can suddenly open their car door and some of the clues that tell us whether this car is going to pull away are wheels that are slanted. Uh, if the, there's fumes coming from the exhaust or steam, so you can kind of pick that up in the winter time. If you see their brake lights coming on, that means maybe their foot is on the brake because they've put the car into drive. So we'll say parked cars. Now, parked cars are also great at hiding things in front of them. So there could be a child in a residential area that's going to cross in front of the cars. Now that we've mentioned children, we can put them in the list as well. If you're coming up to an intersection, intersections are always a threat to us because essentially it's crossing paths with other vehicles. So intersections are a threat. Now, something that's always a threat to us are oncoming cars, right? So they're a threat because they can make a turn in front of us. They can suddenly come into our side of the road. So oncoming traffic is something we need to be mindful of. Now, sometimes you're driving and you're either going towards a sunset or a sunrise and the sun is shining in towards you and you can't see so it's good to have your sunglasses nearby where you can put them on quickly and also if it's raining really hard it might uh, affect how far you can see if the road is foggy uh, if it's nighttime you're not going to have as much visibility so visibility is a potential hazard and i mentioned raining really hard but that also covers uh, if it's snowing or if there's black ice on the road. So road condition is a hazard. If this road, if you're driving on a stretch of road where it goes off like this and you can't quite see around the corner, so the curve in the road is also a hazard. What else? If you're in a residential area and the road doesn't have any sidewalks, then people will have to walk on the road, right? So if no sidewalk, and it forces people on to walk onto the road. If there are, there can also be cyclists on the road. So cyclists are a threat to us. And so when I wrote children, it could include pedestrians as well. Now, other objects, like if there's like bushes around the side of the road, low-hanging tree branches, these are all things that can block your visibility, so you want to be mindful of them. When you go for your road test, uh, if you're going for your class 7 road test, um, like to go get your N, they will have you pull over to the side of the road at some point and ask you to name five hazards that you see. And if you give them any one of these five, as long as uh, it's within reason, then uh, it will suffice. When you go for your class five road test, so your 
your full license, they will ask you the hazards as you're moving. And by that point, after two years of driving on your end, you should be able to spot hazards as you drive. They just don't want to distract you um, when you're just going for your first road test by having you drive and telling them the hazards. So I hope this video has been useful to you. If you liked it, feel free to comment, like, or subscribe to our videos on YouTube. In addition, we offer an online video training course where we go over hazard perception and many other driving scenarios that you will encounter as a driver. So be sure to check that out on our website at www.zula.ca. Now, it's one thing for me to stand here and talk about hazard perception with you. It's another for you to get out there with your driving instructor or your co-ed driver and spot the hazards for yourself. Thank you and I hope to see you in another video.